What's up guys? I want to talk about three reasons why I became a healthier person after having a surgery done to my brain. And let's start with reason number one. And that reason is that I grew a greater appreciation for my current state of being. And that's a thing to think about, right? When we have a health scare, that's when we really think about our health, right? No matter what it is, uh, this goes with all aspects of life, right? Of course, the brain is a very serious organ in our body, as well as like a heart. But you think about the main organs of our body, our brain, like it's controlling everything. It's controlling me moving my hands. It's controlling me speaking, talking, me seeing everything. So, of course, when you have something wrong in that area, you are going to be affected by that scare. Like, and when i found out about it i was 24 at the time and when i found out i had avm and that the potential of having a brain bleed and what it could do to me um it really put me down like a dark hole and it it, it made me worry about a lot of things and when that happened uh i remember the neurosurgeon told me that i shouldn't be working out and that i shouldn't drink so by the time that I made my decision to have surgery on my brain, which I had radiation for, I got opinions from numerous doctors for what to do with my surgery. Um, now, most of them all said that it was too complicated and risky to go in and do, you know, open skull surgery. So they told me to get radio surgery and that that would make my AVM smaller for them to cut out. Um, and, I, you know, I was terrified. I, I didn't want to have anybody go inside and cut open my head and you know do a surgery i had nothing wrong with me so i was so confused on like you know why why is this happening like why do i have to do this if i'm perfectly fine until i did a lot of research and you know learned about this condition and that you know your life could change like that like you could have a brain hemorrhage and you could lose function to a lot of a lot of different things and where my avm was at is that an eloquent place in my brain where i could lose um, motor functions and you know death is also a thing that comes with these things and when i would read up on people who had these uh, avms most of the time people would say uh, would find out by having a brain hemorrhage and when they had a brain hemorrhage now you know they had lost function and different things and had to relearn how to walk and things like that and sometimes you don't even gain those functions back so when i found out about my avm and my health and had surgery i grew a greater appreciation for my current state of being because i could have found out differently and my surgery could have also gone wrong and it could have been different as well and that brings me to reason number two reason number two is that I became passionate about living a healthy lifestyle. Now this like automatically happens when you have a health scare. No matter what, you become aware of your health. Now I started just really paying attention to exercising and then food. And I learned from YouTube. I learned from different people who were, you know, teaching how to train properly and then also how to eat properly. Once my AVM was smaller in size and doctors were giving me approval to start exercising again, I took things slower. I didn't lift heavy or anything like that. My motto is still not like lifting heavy or to do rum one rep max because I learned about like hypertrophy and how that uh, affects overall growth because I became interested in how like muscle grows too. And that was all because of this, all because of my health scare. It made me stumble upon something I'm very passionate, and that's health and fitness as well. And so I started watching YouTubers, uh, learning about, and, and there's so much information on YouTube about health and fitness. There's so many channels out there that show you how to work out properly and, and eat properly. And we all know that those two go hand in hand. And so, yeah, my health scare and my surgery made me just want to live a healthy lifestyle and want to keep that going for the rest of my life and that brings me to reason number three and reason number three is i became very passionate about brain health and i'm kind of learning this right now and i'm following people on youtube 
who are experts in that, like Dr. Huberman. Dr. Huberman is someone I discovered a few months ago, actually, and he's a neuroscientist. He has a podcast as well as a YouTube where he talks about um, neuroscience and he talks about your brain health and overall optimal health. Like, if you want to learn anything about health, like follow him and his podcast will will teach you so much. It's it it's crazy the amount of knowledge that he's giving out for free. And of course, we know that because you know YouTube and different podcasts and stuff is giving a lot of valuable information, like information that before you would only be able to learn in in school, and now that's becoming available, you know, to learn just by following somebody on YouTube or following somebody's podcast and you can learn so much from others especially you know doctors and stuff that are bringing their information to you yeah so I became very very interested in brain health and brain health comes from nutrition and you know and and sleep sleep drastically affects our brain um what we eat affects our brain right our our vitamins and supplements that we take can help us feel in a better mood um and just learning about this and trying to improve is something that i'm very interested in and learning and i hope to share what i know with you guys and as well as point you in the right direction on people to follow and you know just write resources in order for you to want to pay attention to your health because your health is very important your health is what you have your health is your lifeline and yeah, I became very, very passionate about that. And I will continue to be passionate about it. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button because I'm really excited to share my experience and passion with you guys. And until next time, peace.